Hi, I'm children's book author and illustrator Tony DiTrelizzi, and I'm here in my studio where I make my books. I use my imagination all day long to come up with stories and pictures for books just like this one I'm about to read with you. Maybe you're at home right now using your imagination to come up with all kinds of cool activities or things to do to pass the time. But I thought maybe if you got a minute, I'll, I'll read this story to you. It's called Ted. And before we begin, there's a warning I have to read. The warning says, the antics in this book are performed by a professional best friend. Don't try this stuff at home unless you have someone you can blame it on. And there's the warning on the back of the book. And as you can see, the banner on the front of the book was actually a roll of toilet paper, which let's be honest, I kind of wish was a real roll of toilet paper right now. Anyway, this is Ted and I hope you enjoy it. The first illustration actually has no words on it. You see a little boy eating his cereal and this giant pink Muppet monster. Let's find out who he is. Ted blew into my house one Saturday morning. He didn't even knock. I was eating cereal and as usual, my father was busy in his study. Hello, birthday boy, Ted bellowed. Where are the raspberries? Sorry, I said, you have the wrong house. My birthday was last week. Oh, he frowned, then smiled. I'm Ted, and raspberries are my favoriteest food. They help me keep pinkish purply. Do you have any? He looked harmless enough, so I found him some raspberries and sat down to finish my cereal. So what's next, birthday boy? And there's Ted. He's even got a birthday hat on. I wonder if anyone's celebrating a birthday today. I shrugged. Then I remembered my birthday gifts. Wait, I'll be right back. A minute later, I returned with Monopoly under one arm and Twister under the other. Father gave me these for my birthday, but we haven't had a chance to play them yet. Well, let's party, Ted boomed. And so we did. We ate raspberry cereal and played Monopoly Twister. I knew this would be the beginning of a fantastic friendship. And there they are, playing Monopoly Twister. Have you ever mashed up two games and come up with a new game? I used to do that all the time when I was a kid. I still do sometimes. When I told father about Ted, he gave me one of his funny looks. An imaginary friend, huh? I had one of those when I was your age. Just try not to get into any trouble. And there he is telling the father about Ted, and Ted's already there. A few days later, I asked father to take us to the movies. Ted thought I should look my best. First things first, you take your bath, and I'll give you a shave and a haircut. The kids my age don't shave. Didn't you just have a birthday? Oh, that's right, boy. Ted was a genius. There he is in the tub with Ted. Once I was out of the tub, Ted lathered my face real good and gave me a shave. Then he glued bits of toilet paper to my face. What are these, I asked. Tissue plugs. They'll keep your beard from growing back. Oh, so that's why my father does it. Then it was time for my haircut. I grabbed a chair and sat in front of the mirror. Ted tied a towel around me and snippy snap. I looked like a million bucks. Uh-oh. Let's see how that haircut comes out. Well, Father didn't think so. How? How did you do this? He asked. Ted helped me. Don't you think he did a great job? Son, Ted didn't do this. You did. My father then spent the next four hours explaining the difference between real and imaginary friends. And I ended up at the barber where I got the haircut my father picked out. And we never made it to the movies. And there he is. I don't know if you can see it, but he's got a, he's got one bang and a spike and a chop. I don't know. I don't think my father believes in you, I said to Ted after the haircut thing. No, Ted gasped. He must, he has to. Still, I didn't think so, but I had an idea. 
Maybe we should paint him a picture of you, I suggested. Ooh, we could do a big, humongous, life-size picture of me. I bet that would show your father. But what do we do that on, I asked. I didn't have any peeper that was as humongous as Ted. <laughs> the walls, silly. They're so blank and boring. Uh-oh. Here's Ted coming up with another bright idea. Wishy whoosh. It was a masterpiece. You may be at home, you may be using your imagination, and you may feel creative. I'm not sure if this is the best way to express it, but let's see what his dad thinks. Well, father didn't think it was a masterpiece. He couldn't believe how much of a mess I had made by myself in one afternoon. That's when I reminded him about Ted. I've had about enough of this Ted character, father said. Now go get washed up. You're going to bed early while I clean up this disaster. I don't think my father even looked at our picture. And there's dad and Ted and the kid. When did your father become such a stuffy pants? Ted asked me the following afternoon. And what do adults do for fun anyways? I started listing all the things my father didn't have time for anymore. When I got to swimming, Ted's eyes lit up like little marshmallows. <gasps> Let's make him a swimming pool. I wasn't sure if a pool was a good idea, especially after the painting disaster and the haircut thing. So I had a few questions. How do we make a pool? Where do we get the water? And the thing I wondered about most, where are we gonna put it? Ted had everything covered. And as you can see, he's very excited to share his plan. It's easy, Ted explained. We use the garden hose, bring it into the house, through the window, and splishy splosh. We could even put it in your father's study. An indoor swimming pool. We would be the only house on our block to have an indoor swimming pool. I held the hose. Ted turned on the water. My father's gonna love this. There they are, building their indoor swimming pool. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if father likes it. I mean, it's got a diving board and a beach ball and a rubber ducky, but I don't think dad's too happy about it. Father was beside himself. I have had enough. I forbid you ever to play with Ted again. No more Ted ever. After we drained the house, Ted told me it was time for him to leave. Where will you go, I asked. Back home, he replied, to the old playground. The whole next day, all I could think about was Ted. I felt pretty sad and alone. I packed up my Monopoly, my Twister, my cereal, and some raspberries, and I ran away to live with him. Father was still so steaming mad, he didn't even notice me slipped out. So I left a note, and it says, Dear Dad, I went to go to live with Ted at the old playground. Please do not worry. When I found Ted, I explained why I'd run away. Oh, don't blame your father, he said. Sometimes when people grow up, they forget how to have fun. Your father told me that when he was your age. My father? Oh, yeah. But to him, I wasn't Ted. I was Ned. Oh, the times we had playing space pirates. In fact, your father buried his atomic blaster right here under this very slide. You knew my father too? I was amazed. And there's Ted living under the slide. And there's the boy who's run away to live with him. Suddenly, there was a flashlight in my face. You shouldn't have run off like that. I was worried about you. It was my father. You were? Of course I was. I'm your dad. Now come on, we're going home. But what about Ted, I asked. My dad stopped. There is no Ted, son. Uh, but there is, I said. You used to play space pirates together, except you called him Ned. He even knows where you buried your atomic blaster. My dad was stunned. Ned, my, my atomic blaster. My father forbid us to play. I buried it here, somewhere. 
It's okay, Dad. Ted says you buried it right here underneath the slide. He's right. I remember. I remember. And we started digging. And there he is. There it was, a bit rusty in spots, but it still lit up Dad's smiling face. The atomic blaster had been found. My dad gave me a great big hug, and then he looked right at Ted. Ned, it's so good to see my raspberry loving pal again, Dad grinned. Then Dad looked at me. Have I ever shown you how to play Space Pirates? No. Have I shown you how to play Monopoly Twister? And there he is with the ray gun. Shoots out sparks. Ted seems very satisfied with himself. So we all went home and played one mean game of Space Pirates and Monopoly Twister. Maybe you're playing Space Pirates right now, or Monopoly Twisters, or Checkers Tiddlywinks, or Super Mario Bonkers. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you have a great day, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.